Well, despite a lot of attention from the media, the anti-Trump forces on the right seem to be entering into a kind of phase of exhaustion, given their failure to bring him down and the prospects of an embarrassingly chaotic convention. So is there a final acceptance of Trump's inevitability from the right? Let's ask Kelly Riddell. She's back with us. And Brad Blakeman, former deputy assistant to George W. Bush. Brad, I'm going to start with you. You once told me on air on this show that you would never, ever vote for Donald Trump. Are you willing to modify that a, a little bit? Yes, I am. And here's why. I think, I think Donald Trump has certainly earned uh, the right to get the nomination if he can close the deal. You know, I took a look at the book, The Art of the Deal, that he gave me a number of years ago. And one of the most important principles is closing the deal. We aren't there yet. But should we get there, I think we've got to put the party above the person. Wow. And even though Donald Trump is, will be the standard bearer, if he gets to 1237, you got to stick All with right. the party this is, this is in worth, the, the nominee. This is really yeah. worth a news alert. So you would now yeah. uh, yes, vote would. for Donald Trump if he's the nominee? I would do that. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. Kelly, Peggy Noonan, I talked about a piece she wrote earlier today. Uh, Brad is willing to go the distance, do what he said he wasn't going to do, vote for Trump if he's a nominee. But the question is whether the Trump folks would begin to accept these people into their campaign. And Peggy Noonan says about that, Trump supporters do not comprehend the degree to which the establishment figures have been concussed and personally humbled by his rise. They'll sneer at this, many of them, but they should see humility as opportunity. Do you think they will? Um, I think that there's no reason not to once uh, the RNC and the anti-Trump people start circling their wagons around Trump. Everyone wants a winner. Everyone wants to be on board with a winner. So I think you're going to see a lot of the establishment do that. There is a bit of a double standard about the RNC, though. Now, back in 2012, they endorsed Mitt Romney as the presumptive nominee um, before he reached the threshold he needed to clinch the nomination. Mm -hmm. It was about a month later uh, that he actually got to that threshold. But what you saw was with the RNC's backing, and with the promotion, Mitt Romney was able to go from winning 43 percent of the general vote to 74 percent of the general vote. So I think that if the RNC were to come in and back Trump like they did Mitt Romney in 2012, you'll see Trump winning over All a right. larger well, percentage of the electorate. Here's the problem, Brad. I, I had on Dave McIntosh, who I'm sure you know from the Club for Growth, mm -hmm. a delightful yes. guy. I've known him for a while. Uh, under normal circumstances, of course, he'd, he'd support uh, the Republican nominee, but he still takes that I'm against Trump no matter what kind of attitude. And they've been putting out ads saying that he has exactly the same policy on health care, for example, as Hillary does, which just isn't true. Is, is, is he going to see the light the way apparently you have for, you know, or the, not the light, but the inevitability of a, of a Trump nomination? Some people are going to come around and... and some aren't. And I think Trump should be okay with that. But I think that if Trump continues to earn the nomination, it will make him a stronger candidate for the fall, not a weaker one. Yeah. And as long as there are two it's other people in the race, yeah. he, he's got to close the deal. And, and yep. that's the part that people don't understand, okay. that somehow if we're not caving to him, we're against him. We're not. Earn gotcha, the nomination. Guys. I got, and, I got, and to, gonna... I got to wrap it at that. Have yep. a wonderful weekend. Kelly and Brad, we're up against a hard break. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz on the attack yet again, but this time they are bringing Jim Carrey into the fray. What? Every auto insurance policy has a number.